Hops are not the only bitterant used in beer. In fact, historically, hops are relatively new. They are an herb, and they've been used in the past, but usually only by those beer makers who lived where hops were available, where hops were grown, temperate regions. There are other herbs and other vegetable matter, plants, that have been used as bitterants and preservatives in beers throughout the years, and spruce tips in particular are one of the more common of those. Anywhere you would find pine trees, spruce trees, you will find spruce tips. The spruce tip is the brighter green section at the very tip of a pine tree, a spruce tree's branch that grows every year that indicates the new, the new branch and the new needles. The next year, those, tr those uh, needles are dark green like the rest of the tree, and there's a new, sp new tip past it. What you will do to get a spruce tip is you'll go out in the late spring, early summer, and you will snip the bright green parts of the spruce branch. You'll collect those, and you could use those to flavor your beer. One such example of that is Fort George's Spruce Bud, which has no hops in it at all, and is only preserved and flavored, at least in this sense. I mean, grains and yeasts are all flavored too, but... The primary vegetable matter flavorant of this, well, I guess the grains are vegetables too. The primary green vegetable matter flavorant in Fort George's Spruce Bud is wild spruce tips. How's that for the most awkward pour in ever? So this is an ale brewed with wild spruce tips by which I understand they actually go out to the forests around their location there in Northern Oregon and harvest spruce tips. The vast majority of the beers you're gonna drink today, as I said earlier, are gonna be flavored with hops. You might find some that may use a combination of hops plus other things. Those can be adjuncts of various sorts. But in this beer, the spruce tips are used in the same way that hops would be used. Very interested. This is the first beer I've had that is expressly only flavored with spruce tips. <laughs> I must say, I was expecting more of a uh, pine tree smell to start off with. <laughs> Definitely not that. Um, mild apple juice? A little bready character? Not like malt forward breadiness though, it's more of a kind of a thin, a mild bread, if there is such a thing. Diluted bread. <laughs> if I get my nose really deep in there, I could convince myself that I was smelling the weeest hint, the slightest hint of pine tree, but I think I'd be stretching the truth to say that. Um, and I am standing under what I believe is a, a uh, well, some sort of evergreen, so I might just be smelling that. It smells mild and juicy. Not in a hoppy juiciness, but uh, it's definitely more about the malts than it is about at least the smell of, ho of, uh, of hops. Oh, interesting. It's really interesting how much of the beer's flavor we expect based on the typical ingredients of it. Um, I'm expecting there to be this green bite from hops, but there isn't. And that does leave the beer feeling a bit thin. I do wonder how much preservative the spruce tips bring to the beer. Uh, one of the primary reasons why hops were used initially was because it was a preservative. Um, I mean, anything that does two things at once, preserves and flavors, is a bonus to whatever you're making. But um, like we, we, we expect the hops to bring a lot of flavor, even when the beer is not necessarily about the hop. This is really interesting. It's not unpleasant. It's just very different from what I expect a beer to be. And so I should probably adjust my expectations. 
Let's do some more of that. Yeah, okay. So, like, cracker malts, um, like I said, kind of thin, but not, not like, you know, Bud Light thin. There's, there's, there's some character, but it is mostly about the malts. If the spruce brings anything, um, I'm not sure what it's bringing, to be realistic. I was, I was really expecting, like, a, a pine tree sort of bite, more akin to a, to a, you know, a West Coast IPA in there, and they're, just kind of bitter, resiny, juniper kind of uh, herbal pine tree bite. And this has absolutely none of that. You open up with this, uh, once again, kind of a super dilute essence of apple, maybe. Um, you have this, this thin kind of warm bread, and then you have this cracker kind of finish. And then it's a real clean, like the, it, it all fades really quickly. I am left with... The sensation of having had water in my mouth, <laughs> you know the uh, like the the Perrier Perrier or the uh, La Croix uh, spark or ciders or not ciders sparkling waters that are flavored with an essence of right. So there's an essence of <laughs> that I'm left with, and I suppose now having exhaled it over my tongue, I could convince myself once again that there's the slightest hint of something evergreen in there but it's it's really not it's it's just really 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 thin maltiness and that's that's it it's it's very interesting it's like i said it's not unpleasant it's just really really different without the the bite coming from a hop. Um, this beer is both refreshing, but also, how would I describe this? Like, I feel I'm, 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 I'm drinking this in, uh, in contrast to primarily. It's, it's just so different. It's recognizably beer, and yet it is so different. And, and my mind doesn't really know what to do with that. Um, it's good. It's tasty. It's just so wildly different. Yeah. And I think I'm going to have to leave it at that because, <laughs> I mean, I am never at a loss for words. But anything I say would be something I've already said, or I probably wouldn't be comfortable saying it ten minutes later after I've had a time to think on it. It is a very interesting beer. It, it's pretty good for warm weather. It's mid 70s, upper 70s today, and and it's working, kind of nice. I'm enjoying it. Um, its lightness is nice for that. But once again, I'm expecting, um, I'm wanting there to be some, you know, some herbal hoppiness to to finish that mouth off with. And a lot of the refreshing, a lot of what I think as being refreshing with beer comes from that. Um, hoppy herbal character and it's just not in this it's all about the malts and they're good malts they're tasty malts it's just that's what it is anyways once again i'm going to tell you i'm going to stop running my mouth <laughs> i'm going to ponder the rest of this can because it is worth pondering anyways this is me matthew i've been chewing this brew and i'll catch y'all on the flip side